in chapter 10, uh, what we see is a hope of making long-term change. And while we know that change in government agencies and government per se takes a long time, how do we move from the traditional modality of thinking to a newer ability uh, that is human-centered and user-centered design? We begin that chapter on page 100 with the notion of open data and improving the procurement process. Um, how do we migrate legacy systems? Um, and how do we use metrics uh, to analyze uh, what we are doing? How can we prove in that something has been useful and continues to be useful? And how do we measure year on year when some things are highly qualitative and interpretive rather than quantitative? Well, the first thing is to bring as much data to the table as possible so that you can shed light on what is going on. But it's bringing those capabilities inside where we are able to go through uh, design in the way it was always meant to. Um, how can we feel more connected to the constituencies? Uh, how can we bring people closer uh, to federal, state and municipal level governments uh, in order to digitize services? Um, what about that user experience design team? Uh, how do they have access to diverse members of the community uh, and how do they engage them in uh, public engagement strategies? Uh, how do you identify the people? How do you bring them in? How do you recompensate them? Uh, how do you stay with them throughout the whole journey and maintain that um, cultural change that often is bigger than the technical change? Um, it's often socio-technical and socio-cultural. Uh, and to do that in an ethical manner is very important. So it's bringing those important skills inside, the engineering, the design, the product management, and to ensure the respect uh, of what has happened in the past, but also moving forward, uh, how can we do that from the traditional ecosystem into align with the values and practices of civic technologists, which are very radical when you think about it. Um, it used to be a top-down approach to build a new information technology system, but now we're saying to co-design is breaking all those rules and really breaking down the boundaries between the professional expertise and the lived experience. Uh, and so identifying structures for digital teams, adjusting job classes and budgets to enable hiring the right people with modern tech discipline mindsets like public interest technologists, uh, interpreting or changing purchasing rules to enable governments to attract and contract with high capacity uh, modern vendors. So any of these uh, have the potential to transform an agency for the better and it's extremely valuable work that supports every other branch uh, of the civic tech field. But it's not going to happen quickly. Um, traditional government vendors, uh, you know, may not want to move to the digital platform. So they had the same supplier for X numbers of years, uh, how to break that chain uh, and be uh, more with the uh, effort to bring on a different way of working. So solidarity with a public mission means you're amplifying the needs of the public servants who are working in the same space uh, and understanding to some degree, uh, accommodating the pressures that exist in the working environment. So that's a very important point before we move on to harmonizing ways of working.